Close to 120 civilians were killed over a fortnight across the troubled province of North Kivu in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. Reportedly, Islamic State-linked allied democratic forces are to be blamed for the recent spate of attacks. ADF has been present in Democratic Republic of Congo for three decades and frequently carries out attacks in the provinces of North Kivu and Ituri against Congolese army and villagers. The Central African nation, rich in valuable mineral resources, has been plagued by 120 rebel groups in its east, fighting with national armed forces for power, land and mineral resources. The violence has uprooted nearly 7 million people with aid inaccessible to many of them. Our next report explores more. Islamic State-linked ADF militia targeted several villages surrounding the city of Beni in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo on the 7th of June, killing at least 41 people. Friday's attacks on the villages of Masala, Mahini and Keme were carried out by armed militants who used guns and machetes to attack residents of the villages in North Kivu province. Nine others were wounded and a local health center was also set ablaze. The assailants arrived in the village during the day. They came from the bush where they started killing people before arriving here at the center. When they arrived at the hospital where we were, we heard the crackling of bullets and that's how we fled. Red Cross volunteers and village youth searched for bodies following the dastardly attack. Members of the armed forces of the Democratic Republic of Congo, led by Lieutenant Colonel Mag Hasuke, went on a foot patrol on Sunday, urging villagers to remain in their homes. A visibly shaken Maurice, who lost members of his family fleeing the attack, pleaded for protection. We learned that our fleeing family members were killed along the way. Here we have two bodies, a girl and a boy. Look how they were killed. I asked the authorities to continue to protect us because we don't know exactly where we are. Allegedly, the ADF is responsible for another attack that killed at least 16 people earlier in the week, bringing the total toll in the region to more than 80 since Tuesday. The horror run continued the next week with ADF rebels killing over 25 people, including six women. In the village of Maikengo in Lubero territory on the 12th of June, the ADF, now based in eastern Congo, originated across the border in eastern Uganda in the 1990s. It took up arms against the country's long-serving president, Yoweri Museveni, alleging persecution of Muslims by the Ugandan government. It forged an alliance with the Islamic State about six years ago though analysts are of the opinion that those links are tenuous. Joint military operations by the Ugandan and Congolese forces against the ADF rebels began in 2021, but they have so far failed to put an end to attacks on civilians. Another rebel group, M23, largely dormant for nearly a decade, staged a comeback in late 2021 and has captured large swaths of territory in Eastern Democratic Republic of the Congo since then. The largely Tutsi rebel group has been linked with the neighboring Rwanda, though Kigali denies the charge. The big question is, can the impoverished nation among the five poorest in the world emerge victorious in its battle with insurgency in its east?